What's going on guys, it's Hijack. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can transfer your worlds from Xbox 360 to Xenia or from Xenia to Xbox 360. I'm making this video because the last video I made was how to play Minecraft Xbox 360 on your PC and I did not include how to transfer your worlds along with some other stuff like split screen which some people have asked about and I do plan on making a video for that but also I was going to make a video on how to use Xenia Netplay to play with your friends but unfortunately it is so unstable that from my testing I could not get it to work. But anyway, on to the video. Okay, so first off, if you want to transfer your Xbox 360 world to Xenia, the first thing you have to do is make sure your world is on your USB or just create a new world on your USB. If you don't know how to transfer your world to your flash drive, you just go to your Xbox guide and then you go to system settings and then you go to storage. Then you pick the hard drive that has your world on it and you go into Minecraft and then you find the world and you click on it and you could copy or move it and select your USB or your flash drive. Okay, so on your PC, you're gonna wanna open Horizon. This will let you view all of the files on your flash drive. When you plug your flash drive in or your USB, it will appear like so. You can see all the folders and you basically wanna go to games and then go to Minecraft and then you can see your save info and your worlds if you have any. You can see this is a world that I created earlier on my Xbox and you just wanna open it by either dragging it into the open space or double clicking it. And then you basically wanna to go to the contents tab either by going here or pressing the contents button right here. And then you'll see your save game dot that. This is what we want. You're gonna click it or just right click it and then press extract. You can save it wherever you want. And this is very important. Make sure you do not change the name. It has to be save game dot that. If you change this, it will not let you load into the world. I'm gonna save it here in this folder and it will say file extracted successfully. You can now close horizon. And now we're gonna take the save game dot that and put it in the Xenia world template. This is a folder that I'm gonna give you in the description. You're not gonna see the RAR files. This is just for me so I don't mess up any of the files but you're gonna to wanna to put your save game dot dat in the Xenia world template folder. It's gonna ask if you wanna replace this and you're gonna say, replace the file in this destination. It has a save game dot dat, it has to be named that. It will not work if it's not named that. And the PNG, I believe this is also needed for it to actually appear inside Xenia. So we're just gonna copy this, control C or right click it, copy. And we're gonna to go to the Xenia Canary folder and then go to content. Now, whatever profile you're using, it's gonna have an ID. You can check it inside Xenia by going to profile, show profile menu, and there's your XUID. I'm not gonna hover over it because it's making it harder to see, but after that, you can see the E03 and all that. It's gonna just be random every time you make a profile. So remember this this and then when you go to your content folder you can see it's the same ID right here if you only have one profile you don't have to worry about this you just know that it's it's not zero because this is for the game files so you basically just go into your profile folder and you're gonna see this one right here this is another profile folder but this one right here this is the Minecraft game ID and this is where your Minecraft worlds are stored for your specific profile so you're gonna go in it you're gonna see zero one this is the world folder you're gonna go in there and just paste your world. You can either do right click and paste or you can do control V. So now your world is in the world folder. You can see it has, make sure it has the stuff in it and you can just launch Xenia and we'll see if it works. And by the way, the reason why you have to do this in this way by going through the folders is because you can't just do install content because your worlds will not show up. As you can see, the folder is not even showing up in the actual folder. Okay, so now we'll see, go play game, continue offline, whatever, online, doesn't matter. And you can see your world is here. And let's see if it loads. Yep, it loaded. Wow, that loaded in like one second. But um, here you can see the sign I put, it says Xbox, and that is confirmation that this is from the actual Xbox. Okay, so now for the second part. If you want to take a world from Xenia for whatever reason and put it on your Xbox, you can do it by, well, I'm just gonna create a world first because I don't have any Xenia worlds, so. Okay, I'm just gonna put a sign down just so we know it's actually from Xenia. Okay, and just exit and save. So as we can see, this is our Xenia world. And now we're gonna wanna close Xenia. 
go into the content folder, go to the correct folder where your worlds are. And you might actually have a hard time finding out which one is your world if you have multiple, because it will not save it with the actual name that you put in Minecraft. So I know this is my world because I only have one world. Um, I don't know how you're going to figure out which one's yours, but um, I think this is the date, 2025, 6 is June, 5 is the day, uh, but I'm not sure what 2014-04 is. But um, yeah, that is a downside, but that's okay because I don't think many people are going to be taking their Xenia worlds and putting it on the Xbox. But if you do, uh, good luck finding out which one is which, and um, the only th thing you have left to do is open Horizon again, and you're going to want to go to just copy your, your save game that that and put it over into the game files, put it where your template is in the template folder. Boom. So now we have them next to each other. We go in Horizon. We take the Xbox World template. We have it here and you go to contents and you replace it with this one. This is the one from Xenia and you just do that. You do file replace successfully and then you save it. Make sure you save it. Otherwise it will not replace it. And then you can just save it to your USB. And that just about wraps up this tutorial. I hope it helped some of you out and make sure you leave a like and subscribe.